Let's shake it up. It smells like, sh oh man, space gator. Yep, that's some Florida stuff right there. The gator head inside of a rocket ship. Guys, we are back at Universal Studios. It is a very exciting day. It's the annual pass holder preview for some of the food and the new Mardi Gras tribute store. Now today is February 3rd, but the Mardi Gras event goes from February 5th until April 24th. And let's say it's back to being like 70 degrees. Last week it was like in the 40s and 50s and I was wearing five layers. I'm currently sweating. This is strange. It's back to being Florida weather now. All right, here we go. Universal annual pass holders. Time to go to the tribute store. Now, if you don't know what the tribute store is, it's like its own themed, like almost like a amusement park attraction, but for a gift shop. It's like the most upscale theme park gift shop you could ever have. Each season, they're kind of like rethemed and they redo the entire thing. So I'm excited to see what this year's is gonna be. Now we're heading in. I'm guessing we're just gonna go through how the floats are made from beginning to end, because we're in the, the float factory. Right, I'm already liking what I'm seeing. Earl's advanced rules leading to safety safety tips so you have earl with a little safety cone so it says like everything is made in one month right february concept week revisions due build week check paints glitter scenic david and ally's birthday pizza day crunch week what theme park employees never have a crunch week and then opening day have to be done so here they just have some of the paperwork for like the scheduled builds for the visual team heading this way warehouse tribute store concepts and ideas Oh wow. I believe this is new this year. They have actual baskets you can put merchandise in. So you're not struggling to carry everything through here. They have a bunch of banners to pass Mardi Gras here. I really enjoyed the banner from 2015. I love the vibrant colors. Uh, they have the Phantom of the Opera poster. Did they just take this off the uh, mummy building wall? Alright, so here's like the blueprints for the facade for the float factory for the tribute store. So I guess here's like the revisions. They have to add a tinsel skirt. They need to move this up. I'm guessing this here has to be space themed because there's like a rocket ship right there. Oh, this looks like a concept for the tribute store that it could have been. That's interesting. So it's cool to see that like stuff that they didn't produce but that they made. And I believe this is on top of the tribute store from last year. Earl has a wonderful safety tip. Please do not climb next to the parrot. Yeah, so it's all just covered in all the blueprints from guessing that the floats that they built this year. All right, so they have this like windbreaker, almost track jacket. It says Universal Studios Mardi Gras. And on the back, they have the design for this year with the big gator float, $60. Then they have the same design, but just on a standard purple shirt. It's almost kind of like a distressed purple shirt. $40 for this one. Then for $32, they have the Mardi Gras fanny pack. Then we have a baseball cap with the same logo. It's got some beads on the side. Universal Mardi Gras embroidered on the back for $28. That for $25, you can get a black trucker cap, but this is an annual pass holder exclusive. That for $20, you can get Mardi Gras socks. And then over here, they have the annual pass holder exclusive. Same design, they just put, you know, Universal Orlando annual pass holder in the mouth. And this one's gonna be $30. And I think the coat check sign is from uh, the tribute store from last year when you first walked in. All right, we got a spirit jersey, and I'm guessing this is not $120 like Disney's, but it's got Mardi Gras on the back. Spirit jersey is gonna be half the price of a Disney spirit jersey. That's gonna be 60. On the front, you have a crown. It says Universal Studios with some beads. And on the sleeves, they have green and purple stripes. Then right here, they have a yoga pant, $33. They're just kind of black standard yoga pants, but at the bottom of the leg, it's gonna say Universal Studios with a crown. It's kind of a, you know, just a wooden plaque you can display, Universal Mardi Gras. Then they have some glassware that you can get, like a little wine glass. Then they have a hurricane glass with the same logo. And then hidden up here, okay, I'm 6'1", okay? I, I can't even reach it, I'm gonna have to go on my tippy toes. <laughs> Okay, they just have a standard drink glass. Louder, wilder, spicier. Mardi Gras at Universal. It's gonna be $17. Here's a, a little lightning bug concept art drawing. A beheaded gator. And then over here is a, this is a, a space crawfish. So you can purchase fluffy crowns, gator hats, and then actual, like, these are like metal crowns. And now it seems like all this headwear is $32. They have a jester hat. Over here, you can get kind of the fancier stuff that you could wear, little tiaras, ornaments. Now, in last year's Mardi Gras tribute store, they had kind of like a shipping room of like imports from other countries. I believe that sign is from the shipping room. All right, then over here, they have a wax gator for $6. He's on the hunt. And at the bottom of all these wax figures, it does say Universal Studios, so it's a cool little cheap souvenir. Here's kind of concept for the tribute store this year, where they kind of like make it out of pieces of wood. Here's what the float 
might be. Then they have all the expensive beads that you can buy over here. These are three for 15. Now these are a lot of fun. They are kind of heavy if you have too many of them. They got little rubber duckies. They got everything. This is a really fun design with a skeleton on it. Universal Mardi Gras. I think this is my favorite shirt that they've made so far. 35 for this, and they have kind of a matching one. This is kind of a female skeleton, a little tank top, and that one's also 35. And then down here, uh, then they have frames that you can get for Mardi Gras, and then they have the reversible bucket hats. Here's the inside, here's the outside. These are gonna be $34. Then they have kind of just a standard t-shirt. Universal Studios Mardi Gras, let the good times roll. This one's gonna be 30. Ooh, we got another little Earl the Squirrel Easter egg. It's an Earl the Squirrel plate. I remember these as a kid, and then we have a sandwich. It's not real. And I, is that just meat? I think this is just meat. I like this little Easter egg. It says, do not lose. It's a set of keys, but it's just like left here. <laughs> like they lost them and forgot them. Here we have an ad for the food palace, where the food is good and the people are okay. If we look over here, we can see, what is this, a postage card? From Earl's Tree Farm, hidden right there. Earl's been a busy man since we saw him last. Same delightful flavor, same great name, Earl's Acorn. Soda. I don't know how I feel about acorn soda, but I love that little detail. Now I'm looking for Easter eggs in this cabinet, but I'm not finding any. It's just like painting material that they have. I like this Earl safety quote. No back talk. I just, I'm really enjoying looking at the concept of, of like beginning to then end when we'll see them at Mardi Gras going down the street about like what they needed to add and what's the side evaluation. This is really cool to see how they actually make a float. Here's the tribute store facade from years past. And then this is the one from last year, the front of the tribute store. So I'm guessing this was the hand drawn concept that are like, hey, let's go for this. All right, we're gonna head to the fabrication and build area of the tribute store. They have a skull here and Diablo. So if you look up there, they have the stained glass from the HHN 2021 tribute store that was on top of the house. All right, so here's a piece of some wood, I guess, that they're building for the float. Let's see what this is supposed to be. I don't know. Because this is the fabrication room, they're, they're playing like construction and like grinders. And it, I really do not like the sound choice that they made because it just sounds like you're standing in a construction zone and it really hurts my ears. And I feel sorry for the team members who are gonna be stuck in the tribute store. Oh God, I hate this room so much. It makes me feel like I'm in a dentist right now with all the drilling going. <laughs> Right, right then and there. Here's where they're sculpting the gator, it looks like. We saw they were gonna make a gator float, now they're sculpting it in here. I'm guessing they're kind of going for this design, and here's kind of some reference photos for gators. So here's the side that's sculpted, and then, if you switch over here, here's the non-sculpted side of the gator. Now this was in like the Bayou grave area last year on the wall. Universal Studios Florida and it says hashtag tribute store. But again, they have a bunch of the masks that you can purchase right here. All right, so here they have the Halloween Horror Nights bear holding a bunch of purple, green, and yellow garland. And on top, he's wearing a little hat, which I like is a fun little detail. It's a cool little photo op. You can sit down there in the throne and then get a picture with the bear. Da -na 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 Na, na, na. Feels right. Feels right? Feels right. You look like a little child because it's such a big chair. Yeah, it is. And with the dentist noise, doesn't help. Earl says over here, stay alert, stay alive. So it's like some zombie survival stuff right there. Now they also have non-universal shirts and everything with skulls on them. Here's skulls within skull, skullception. Over here, Earl says, clean jokes only. All right, Earl says over here, don't run with scissors. They have, a, they have shark feet up here. They have industrial plastic vampire teeth. And then they have a box of nuts. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the bottom box. Crushed dreams. That's so good. Over here, Earl says, stay hydrated. It is really cool to see the past banners for the Mardi Gras events here at Universal. Dean, you're saying Sunny and Cher? Sunny and Cher. Mardi Gras version. Keep work area clean. All right, Earl's next tip. Use the right tools. All right, so this is the uh, the wax machine that they have for this year. It looks like it's of a river boat, but they're six dollars. We're going in the hallway now. Now they didn't have the thing where they like where I could pay to put my face in, which is kind of sad because I always enjoyed seeing everybody's face. So now it's it's kind of an empty hallway. They look back in the time at Universal Studios Mardi Gras. They had a horn float, like a tractor. They got like Frankenstein and the mummy. Who is this guy? It's really cool to see the progression of Mardi Gras through the years. Because it's such a big event here. And then over here on the other side, I have no idea what that is, but you have a skull. <gasps> oh wait, I thought that was E.T. for a second, but it's not. Maybe it's like E.T.'s busted brother. Oh, this is incredible. They put a mask on Kong from Confrontation. Was this actually 
on the ride during the Mardi Gras years. They had Jaws, they had Bruce on a float. Wait, why can't we have a Universal Studios movies Mardi Gras floats again? These are great. So you have Bruce right there, then you have Kong, and then you have a little E.T. that was on this Universal Studios Florida float. Oh God, who is this creepy moon man float? Oh, nightmare fuel. What, what was this man supposed to be? Looks like a knockoff superhero. Yeah, Disco Cyclops with a zebra print. They had a Marilyn Monroe float? A giant elephant and then a giant chef. One of these like inflatable costumes. Yeah, the hallway's just kind of, kind of a gray hallway with some photos on it. Normally these hallways are like super themed and detailed. Kind of sad, but I understand it's like a float factory. Now it's time to go into the scenic and paint area of the tribute store. Oh. I guess Mardi Gras floats have their own like color names. Blades of Grass, Leapfrog. Fairy Garden Green, Sun Lover, Lemon Puff, Moss Rose, French Violet, Royal Giant, Be Happy, Duxbill, Magic Marigold, Mimosa Magic, okay, I wanna see what that color is, Tiger Lily Lady, and Silky Corn. Mm. All right, so we're seeing, I guess, from beginning to end, the gator float. So it's like a just size three color. So they're slowly sculpting it out of styrofoam. Oh, Alligator Alley is the color they're gonna paint them with. All right, so here's kind of where they're making the color and glitter choices. Like, think about it, this is someone's job to pick out which glitter to use. These are approved together. And I guess they test out how much glitter gets put on the float. I never thought about it. Oh, like this teal, too light, similar to other float colors. This looks like a, I'm not gonna say what that looks like. I guess this is the design that they decided to go on. Now you always gotta look up at Universal to find the funniest details. It says in this box, assorted gems and jellies. Here we have the banners for Universal Mardi Gras over the years, 95. That's when I was born, 95. Oh man. So they have really fun light up bracelets for $12. So it's got the Mardi Gras logo, but it changed colors with the silhouette of Universal Studios Florida with Mardi Gras. So something fun you can help spot your friends out of a crowd if they're wearing it. Now they have a black light reflective shirt of the space themed Universal Studios. So this is $40 for the long sleeve shirt. But if you want a ringer, the short sleeve one, same design and everything with little UFOs, but it's gonna be $35 for this one. Now there's also some weird like ghoul looking creature right there. Uh, they have a planet Mardi Gras Rocket King. I guess there's gonna be kind of a mascot this year, the Rocket King. He looks like, who's, who's the guy who like is blue and saves the planet? Uh, this shirt is gonna be $30. Here they have a little wallet that you can purchase. Multi-purpose headband with the Mardi Gras logo on it. This is gonna be $14. Okay, so there's also Planet Mardi Gras, the Rocket Queen. This is a really cool retro like Flash Gordon design. Now this is gonna be $35. And then they have socks with the same design and then a drawstring tie-dye bag. $28. Earl's next safety tip is tie your shoe. So they have all these fun masks on the wall and it looks like they have the different costumes that are gonna be paired with the floats. And then up here they have all the different types of fabrics they're gonna be using for the floats and the costumes. So they have a spaceship up there that looks like um, Mike Pence. Yeah. All right, into the next room. Oh, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Lord. All right, so this is the finished product of the float. Oh, man. Space Gator. Yep, that's some Florida stuff right there. So you have a, the Gator head inside of a rocket ship. The glitter options that they chose. So it's like a smaller little float, right? And then in the back, they have the rocket ship. Now, I'm digging this rocket ship. It's like flying through the galaxy and everything. It's bright, vibrant, and fun. The register this year is a float. We found Earl the Squirrel. We found, Earl the squirrel. We found him. Now, a fun little Easter egg that the creative team does is there's a statue of Earl the Squirrel, and they hide him in every single tribute store, no matter what the season is. So it's always fun to try to spot him. They turned him into a little space Earl the Squirrel. So good. And then over here, if you need a Coca-Cola or water, they have a little spot over here. Ah, for NBC Universal, they have a peacock. They do have like flames coming out of the rocket ship though. And then they also have merchandise before you get to the register. So they have like garland and beads and some like confetti projections on the wall. We're at the Tribute Store snack stand right now. What's the best thing here? Everything, obviously. <laughs> Alrighty, so, so in terms of guest popularity, the most popular ones, now you're gonna be surprised at this, all right? The shaker cakes up top. Okay. Yes, they're $18, but you gotta think about this. The shaker is actually like functional. All right, quick rundown. We have a king's cake whoopie pie, Mardi Gras <laughs> trifle cake, <laughs> and they have a blue planet one, 
and then they have a candy apple, then they have the macaroons, and then we have the chocolate dip bacon, then we have the Mardi Gras cupcake, then we have the Mardi Gras hot chocolate shot, like from Christmas, then we got cookie dough balls, more cookie dough balls, shaker cake, Mardi Gras brownie, more shaker cakes. Oh, there's, so there's two different types of brownies. I feel like there should be a sign up here saying like tribute store snacks or something. And then over here they have Earl's famous roasted nuts, almonds, pecans. They have a projection right here, as you can see, of Universal Mardi Gras. Oh, it moves. Oh, it dances. A little party. All right, let's see what the exit hallway is. Huh. All right, well, we got some uh, it's concept drawings again. Existing Gator reference. The Mardi Gras 2014 float. All right, the final little area. Now we got some beads. We got a piano. All right, Jamil. You gotta let me know who that is right there. We have a cap. Not much going on. When the Saints go marching in, is the song that they're playing. Honestly, kind of lackluster. You know how much of a hardcore fan I am of the tribute stores. I just feel like there's a lot of blank area. I think it's interesting, right, to have it each room is kind of telling a giant story telling how the floats are made which i find is interesting i kind of liked how the tribute stores were in the past of like going into louisiana like bayou and everything oh god i hated that room with the sound of the drilling oh my head still hurts from that hope they turn that down we'll see how the tribute store snacks are sorry i'm normally super excited about these tribute stores that one is kind of like eh, i might walk through it every now and then but it's not gonna be like one of those must do destinations during the day all right it's the moment we've all been waiting for my friends the tribute store snack reviews <laughs> we've had our ups we've had our downs over the years uh, this seems very interesting it's an actual shaker glass so it's a hurricane cake and a shaker glass now let's shake it up interesting it smells like sherbet all right here we go all right so it's a very crumbly cake a neon orange pink color if you've ever had a starburst right there's like orange pinkish ones that's what it tastes like but it's frosty i've never i don't know if i've ever wanted Starburst Frosty, but if you're a fan of it, you get like that super sugary tropical taste, like a hurricane. I think for everything together, I think I'll do like an eight out of 10. I think it's a fun design. Taste isn't bad. The cake is nice and moist. Kind of mix it together. But if you don't like Starburst flavoring, you're not gonna like this. But if you like Starburst, you'll like it. All right, now it's a huge shaker glass. Definitely can't eat it in one sitting. Definitely need something to drink with it because it's just so like tart almost in the frosty. You'll probably need either two or three sittings to eat this thing or two people, but it's very tart. All right, now it's time for the um, fudge brownie. Now different. there's two different types of brownies. The only difference with this one is the brownie is dipped in a fudge coating. We're gonna lift it up. It's gonna have a, a creamy bottom. Mm. Oh wow, extremely fudgy. It's like a most like an upscale cosmic brownie, kind of like that like brownie batter sort of consistency with the kind of like that extreme fudginess. Then you get kind of like this, the chocolate coating. So it's kind of like one of those giant um, Valentine's Day chocolates that you get in like those chocolate boxes, but a brownie flavor. I quite enjoy that because I love really fudgy and like rich things. I think I'll do like an 8.5 on that. I really enjoy something like that gets you going with the chocolate overload. But if you don't like rich things, you're not gonna like that. But if you do, 8.5. Well, the food carts were open. I guess we missed them. So it looks like they brought back the arepas, which were incredible last year. My favorite one was the uh, the carnitas. Ooh, they're bringing back muffaletta this year and jambalaya. We have all these different like photo op spots now. They have shrimp gumbo with rice, black and chicken po' boys. Now we're gonna stop by all the booths real quick to see how they all look at the nighttime because this is new this year. They've added all these like almost lighting packages to the booths. All right, here's all those gears that we saw last time. Let's take a look at the menu. I'm interested to find out what it is. Okay, interesting menu. Creole crab beignets, ice cream bubble waffles, Mardi Gras bubble waffles. This is going to be an interesting one. All right, so here's Flower Float. This reminds me of uh, the E.T. ride for some reason with like the luminescent fake flowers. They don't have a menu up, but tell me those little orb things do not remind you of the E.T. ride here at Universal. All right, let's pop into the prop shop real quick. See what Shrek merch is left. They uh, sold that giant like cauldron thing that they had here, but they have another shield for $600. You have these like little kids like weirdly bent over like terrified and then you have this happy man painting. I think they should flip him around because it looks very weird with him like painting and grinning and then these little kid pumpkins. Ugh. And you got this pumpkin guy drooling. Now they have the mirror mirror on the wall from the Shrek pre-show. Uh, this is a uh, 7,500. You can have your own mirror mirror on the wall and project a face on there if you want. No guys, we are back at home. It's um... <laughs> 
It's, it's five in the morning right now. Um, but again, I had a lot of fun today. It was the annual pass holder preview event. So if you're an annual pass holder, you can get in and kind of explore the tribute store. But on February 5th, Universal Studios Mardi Gras event opens fully to the public and everything. So all the food, the parades, all the festivities will be opening on February 5th. I will be there opening day covering all the foods and the different parades and the floats that I'm super excited because this is such a big event in Universal Studios. Last year was so good. I was very impressed with how they handled everything last year. Let's talk about the tribute store. Universal Studios has set such a high bar for the tribute store, right? Last year's was so immersive. Each room was very like immersive. And I felt like this year there's just kind of like a lot of like blank space. Those whole hallway areas were like, what is going on? I understand like you're in a factory and everything. I thought the concept was cool, but I kind of missed the like very different like atmospheric variety that they had in the different rooms. So I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what were your thoughts about the tribute store this year? Did you like it? Did you not like it? I loved all the little Earl the Squirrel Easter eggs. It was like a fun little scavenger hunt, like following all of his little safety tips around. And I'm sure there's more Easter eggs that I'll uncover covered throughout the Mardi Gras season, which I'll show to you guys. But I love that they have so many callbacks to past attractions and past Mardi Gras and past uh, tribute stores. And that just is such like a, kind of like this like bonding family atmosphere that Universal creates with all these little inside jokes. So maybe the tribute store will grow with me more throughout the season. Uh, if you love all things Universal and theme park, hit the subscribe button, join the family. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. All right guys, I love you all. Please stay safe and I will see you all for opening day of Mardi Gras. I will be there and then the next day the video will be posted with all the food reviews. All right, I'll see you soon. Next uh, safety is please do not climb.